the big question. Acuity scheduling, otherwise now called Squarespace scheduling, or Calendly, which one is right for you? Now, they are both totally different in regards to how they look. So, for instance, this is the back end of Acuity. So, this is what the back end looks like. This is the back end of Calendly. As you can see, totally different user interfaces in regards to how they look. So which one is best? Now, in regards to the simplicity of this setup, Calendly by far wins each and every single time. And the reason behind this is that when you create an appointment type, so let's just say the power hour, I would have pressed new meeting and then it would have guided me through the questions. So I would put in the event name, how it's going to be. So Zoom, a description of it. I'd then put in my availability for this appointment. I'd put in my questions that I want to ask people for the appointment. I'd customize my emails. Choose if I want a confirmation page. And then obviously decide what the payment's going to be all in one and then this is how it would look when it's live with acuity it's a bit more long-winded it's not as simple as that what you have to do first is you have to create the appointment type such as here automation power hour but when you go into that you have you'd put the name in you put your description in just like calendly how long it's going to be the price of it you can put some images in and is it public or private um, but what you can't do as you can see on this is you can't set the email reminders you can't set is it going to be zoom you can't set um how you're going to take that payment such as is it how is it the money going to be taken you can't actually choose that because what you do you create your appointment type first and then when you go back to your main page you then choose the availability of that appointment so you might set up a new calendar like this, Automation Power Hour, to show the availability for your power hours. So you do that. Then you would come in and you would set up your payment settings for it. So you'd find Power Hour and choose what the payment settings are going to be. But it does have, different to Calendly, it does have the options to have various different payments. So you could have the deposit is taken instead of paying the full amount up. So, of course, this is a difference that you do have. Additionally, you can connect PayPal as well. So you can offer two payment types. You can offer Stripe and PayPal, for instance. And it does connect with Square, which Calendly doesn't. So it does have that benefit. You would then come in and you do your email settings. So you'd have to come in and you would then either use the default confirmation, the reminders, for all your appointments, no matter what they are, a discovery call, one-to-one -one meeting, a power hour, or you would add a new template for your initial confirmation, assign that to power hour. Then reminders, assign it to power hour, cancellation, assign it to power hour. And then when it comes to the Zoom, you'd then go into your integration settings, you'd find Zoom, you'd have to edit it, and you'd have to choose what systems, which of meetings you want to use for Zoom. So you'd have to do it all separate. So whereas in Calendly, you would do all the setup under one, in Acuity, you have to actually set everything up individually. So that is the main difference between these two. The actual pages for scheduling something looks very similar. So for instance, if I just go to this one, so they can choose power hour, one-to-one -one meeting, a discovery call. If we look at my Calendly one, you can see here people can choose again which session they want. So let's just say we're going for Power Hour, we'll click on it. So this is how Calendly would look. And then Power Hour, this is how that one works. You can change this to a monthly view. I've just got it set to a weekly view though. So again, we can see your available times. So we're going to click that, continue, it asks for my information. So again, they click that, confirm, it asks for my information. So all that kind of things is the same. And as always, you can have just a specific link for power hours instead of showing them 
your over the overall link kind of thing. Also, just to note what I've remembered, you would also have to set your form questions up separately, such as here, power hour. I've had to set up the questions separately and not like in calendar where you would do them under one. So as we mentioned earlier, but um, so obviously Calendly is super duper simple to use in regards to getting it set up. The thing that Acuity, so if you want simplest tip, calendar definitely. Um, Acuity, the one thing it has that what you don't have um, for your clients is you can see here at your client list. So you could see a Laura Burnett. And I could click on her and press schedule appointment. I can choose it's going to be a meeting with this client on this date, at this time. And I can actually schedule an appointment for my client. Or I could do a new order and I could say the product. So we haven't added no products in, but you can create products. And I could actually order it all, say that they've paid me cash, for instance. So you could place your orders. So this feature is just not existent in Calendly, but not everybody actually needs this. But if you are someone who needs this ability to be able to schedule appointments, you may be a therapist, for instance, and you need to schedule your a client's next appointment, then you may prefer to have this so that you can do that. Um, so that is an option. Additionally, when you click on the client, you can see any notes that you've added about them. You can see what upcoming appointments they've got. You can see what past appointments they've had as well. So you can see that kind of piece of information. But obviously, the setup of Acuity is a lot more complicated. So this is when everybody says to me, do I need Calendly or Acuity? My honest answer is, if you do not need this client list, then please use Calendly. You'll get along with it much better. Super easier to set up. Um, it pretty much does everything that you need. And there's always a workaround. So for instance, if you did need it so that you could book a meeting for your client, there's nothing wrong with you actually just going on, um, onto the page, booking page and just, doing it as you would for the client. So there's nothing wrong with you just then typing their information in. But if you are someone who you do prefer to have this facility, then please go ahead and use Acuity. But that is generally all of the reason I personally find for actually using Acuity against Calendly. So that is just my honest opinion of it, but you don't actually have to listen to me, obviously. I'm just telling you my honest opinion. Um, but that is your difference with them. Now, what about the pricing difference? So let's have a take a look, shall we? So with the pricing, you have three main packages, basic, premium, and pro for Calendly. So you do have a free option. And for Acuity, we have Emerging, Growing, and Powerhouse. So there's no free option. Now, with this, I have never I always recommend Pro because with Pro, what you get in Calendly is you get to have, when you get into the pro version, where are we, where are we? You can customize the email notifications. If you was on the free one, you wouldn't be able to, you'd have to use the default reminders basically. But I always recommend that you customize them out. Additionally, if you're wanting to collect payments, you need to have their pro package. So it costs you $12 a month. On Acuity, Acuity is more expensive. So their cheapest package is $14. Majority of people only need that. At the most, you'd need growing. You'd never, ever need powerhouse. You'd need growing if you're needing to have several different locations, such as people can book in Zoom, home, and all that kind of stuff. Also, if you want text reminders, you'd need growing. Text reminders does come on their top, each, top plan pro for Calendly. Um, and then, of course, if you wanted to turn off branding in Squarespace, you do need to have Powerhouse, whereas on Calendly, you need Pro. So again, there is a big price difference. So again, have a look at that as well. So hopefully that shows you the difference between the two. But if you do have any questions, obviously let us know. Drop us an email down at admin at ITMoon. Um, and that is that. So there's Squarespace versus Calendly. So hopefully it's helped you out in deciding what you want to use um, and then of course then you can go ahead and do the course that's right for you in regards to getting your calendar system set up